gathered together this day before God, family, and friends to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. This union, established in marriage, signifies to us the sacred union between Christ and His church and must not be entered into lightly, but reverently. With that said, who gives this woman to be wed to this man? Her mother and I. Thank you guys, you can be seated. And hope. We're here. We're here. The day is here. Just take a deep breath. Because the next yeah. couple hours are going to feel like two minutes. Mm. You may not even remember it next year. This is your moment. All these people here, you've had an impact on their lives one way or the other. And some of these people have had a part in getting you two together. <laughs> but it's all played a part into this moment right here mm. and right now. Danny and Hope, this relationship of marriage in which you're about to enter is the closest of all human relationships. Genesis 2.24 says this, Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Danny, the word of God tells us in Ephesians, Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her. This means that you should love your wife, Hope with a love that is self-sacrificing, one that is pure and true, and a love that will give all of your energies and attention to her, the one woman you love and to whom you have committed spending the rest of your life with. Danny, you will find fulfillment first and foremost by serving God and serving Him with all of your being, with your whole heart, and as a result, you'll be able to love hope with the same devotion. So Danny, will you take this woman to be your wife in the marriage covenant? to live with her according to God's holy ordinance. Will you love her as Christ loved the church, giving yourself totally for her? Will you be kind, compassionate, and forgiving as Christ is to you? And will you be loyal to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Hope, the word of God speaks to wives as well in the book of Ephesians. It says, wives, submit yourself to your husbands as you do to the Lord. Let your beauty not only be external, but focus on the hidden parts of the heart, which is the quality of having a gentle and an encouraging spirit, which is precious in the sight of the Lord. And hope you as well will find your fulfillment as you love the Lord with all of your heart and love Danny in sincerity and daily devotion. So hope, will you take this man to be your husband in the marriage covenant, to live with him according to God's holy ordinance? Will you submit to him as, as you do to the Lord? Will you be kind, compassionate, and forgiving as Christ is to you? And will you be loyal to him as long as you both shall live? I will. Now this time, Danny and Hope have both uh, taken some time to write their own vows and their own promises to each other. So we're going to go ahead and start with Danny. Whew, we're here. <laughs> Hope. I remember our first date that it took us forever to order food because we're talking so much. I didn't want to stop talking, but I knew we should probably order food since we're at a restaurant. <laughs> when I realized it was getting late, I remember thinking that I didn't want this date to end. Being on that date made me so happy and was so in awe of how we connected so easily. I immediately thought, this is someone I want to marry. But I knew I needed to pump the brakes and continue <laughs> to get to know you before making that decision. <laughs> but the more and more I got to know you, the more and more I realized that this is the person I've been praying to spend the rest of my life with. And I thank God for bringing you into my life. I love the way you make me laugh, how you encourage me, how you give me advice, how you love me, how you care for me. When you say, I am proud of you, that phrase encourages me so much. Thank you for continuing to do that. One of my favorite things I love about you 
is your capacity to love and care for others. Time and time again, we run into your friends. If you know Hope, she has a lot of friends. <laughs> um, but they would all tell me how you are such a loving, kind, helpful, encouraging person to them. Hearing your friends say that about you just made me fall in love with you more and more. When I met your family for the first time, I was so excited but a little bit nervous. But the nervousness quickly went away because your family embraced me as one of their own. I am so grateful for that. Doug and Pam, thank you for raising an amazing and beautiful woman. Hope, I promise to you that I will always support you and encourage you in every way I can. I promise to always take the time to talk to you and to listen to you each day. I promise to remove any bugs that come into our home. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to always calm you down and to hold you tight when things seem too much to handle. I promise to always make you laugh and to talk in silly voices. I promise to always be patient with you, respect you, and to trust you. I promise to say I love you every day. And I promise to be there for you in the good times and in the bad times. And I promise to always have God at the center of our relationship and promise to love and cherish you for the rest of our lives. I love you. Danny, all my life people told me you will know when the right one comes along or God has a great man planned for you, but I had the most difficult time believing them. For years, I prayed for a godly and caring man to come into my life. I could have never dreamed I'd be this lucky to be able to call you mine. I know God keeps his promises because you are so much better than anyone I could have hoped for. Even though I'd seen you around at church and been a bit intimidated by your intense technical knowledge and skill, <laughs> I was so happy when we had our first longer conversation at the church Christmas party. It wasn't just because I thought you were another cute boy, but because I remember you truly listening to me and caring about what I had to say. And you do truly listen and care for people it's one of the main reasons why I fell in love with you. Whether it's a server at a restaurant, a random person that we meet on an elevator, or a friend, you know how to make people feel valued and cared for. I can't list all the things I love about you because we'd be up here all day, <laughs> but here are some of the things I love most about you. You put God first and others first. You inspire me to be more like Jesus. You make me feel safe, seen, and heard. Life with you is easy. You always make me laugh. You always ask me what's wrong before I myself even know I'm frustrated or upset and help to refocus my mindset towards something good. You know me so well, you're always one step ahead of my thoughts. You love both your family and my family so well. We always have fun together. And you're so incredibly patient with me. You are the only man I've ever said I love you to. I would have never thought I'd be the first to say it, but I want to be the first to say it every day for the rest of our lives because I can't say it enough. Becoming your wife is the greatest honor of my lifetime, and I'm so thankful God answered my prayers. I promise to always put God first in our relationship, so I will have the foundation and help I need to be the best wife I can be to you. I promise to always be faithful and to honor and respect you as my husband. I promise to put your happiness, needs, and wants above my own and to serve you with a loving heart. I promise to encourage and support your hopes and dreams. 
I promise to be by your side when we go through trials and need the support of our friends and family. I promise to always focus on communication and honesty to make our relationship stronger. I promise to try to make you laugh and not to make you watch too much silly reality TV. <laughs> I promise, Lord willing, to be the best mother I can be to our children someday. I promise to pray for you every day and to continue to value and cherish our marriage. I'm so thankful and honored we get to do life together. Daniel Harold Brigham, I love you with all my heart, today, tomorrow, and forever. Those were good. <laughs> Those were really good. Yeah. So now we're going to do uh, another fun part of the ceremony. We're going to exchange the rings. Uh -huh. The ring okay. is going to go on the finger. These rings show great value of unending love and commitment. You exchange rings so that everyone will know the covenant that you've made to each other. And also let everyone else know you're off the market. You're taken. <laughs> you are taken now. And so we'll go ahead and grab the rings real quick. Danny, you can take Hope's finger. Danny, please repeat after me. Hope, I give you this ring. Hope, I give you this ring. As a constant reminder. As a constant reminder. Of my love and faithfulness. And my love and faithfulness. Promise to you. Promise to you. Before God this day. Before God this day. All right. Hope, you can repeat after me. Danny, I give you this ring. Danny, I give you this ring. As a constant reminder. As a constant reminder. Of my love and my faithfulness. Of my love and my faithfulness. I promise to you. I promise to you. Before God this day. Before God this day. Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> <That's weird. laughs> Feels right. Feels right. <laughs> Well, now we're almost done with the ceremony, y'all, but we're not uh, quite done. The rings are on the finger. The vows have been said. And what Danny and Hope wanted to do uh, before we go on and we party, even though the party's already happening downstairs, apparently, <laughs> before we go have our own party, we're going to take a private moment. Danny and Hope are, and they're going to go before the Lord, and they're going to take communion as a married couple right before we kiss the bride, and the fun starts. Mm -hmm. And so what I want to ask everyone else to do, there's going to be a song that's going to play. I just want to ask you just to remain uh, in your seats and just say a, a prayer for Hope and Danny. Just pray over the marriage and just uh, think about how special they are to you. And we'll be back here in just a second.
what I would like us to do. It's <laughs> race. Now what I would like us to do is before we go any further, I want all of us to pray a prayer of blessing over Danny and Hope. And what I'm going to do now is I want to invite the father of the groom to come up and he's going to pray. And for all of you guys sitting in your seats, I'm going to go invite the groomsmen and the bridesmaids up. You can put a hand on their shoulder. For all of you guys sitting in your seat, I just want to invite you to do a simple, it's just an act of agreement. I want you to extend a hand out to Hope and Danny. And this signifies that you are agreeing with everything that is about to be prayed over them. It's been a long time, Dan. <laughs> I think you got the right girl. Father in heaven, it's you are the creator of the heavens and the earth. The one true living God. It's you that we worship. It's you that we lift our hearts to now. And I can see, Father, that you have brought these two together in such a way that they'll never forget your plan and purpose for their life. You've heard their vows, and I don't know if I could keep all those promises, but Lord, I pray that you will help each of them to keep their vows that they made to each other, that maybe by the time they get to be uh, my age, they'll look back and they'll say, yes, you led us all the way. You were with us through all the hard times and through the good times. And you'll say, thank you. Thank you for who you are and what you do in our lives. And Father, uh, on a personal note, I'd just like to ask you to bless them with many children. <laughs> Maybe that's selfish, Father, but you know my heart. And uh, now as we go on, we look forward to the day when Jesus will return. But until then, help us all to be faithful in our service to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I love you both. You know that, right? Thank you so much. I love you a lot. Oh, love you too. You ready? We're ready. Danny and Hope, as the two of you come into this marriage, uniting you as husband and wife, and as you this day affirm your faith and love for one another, always remember to cherish each other as special and unique individuals, that you respect the thoughts and ideas of each other, be able to forgive and don't hold grudges, mm. and live each day that you may share it together. As from this day forward, you will be each other's home, comfort, and refuge. Your marriage strengthened by your love and your respect for each other. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 says this. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy and it does not boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing but rejoices with truth. Hmm. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, hmm. and endures all things. Love never ends. With that being said, for as much as Danny and Hope have united in holy matrimony before God in the presence of these witnesses, having pledged their love to each other by the giving and receiving of rings, I, by the authority of God's word and by the power given to me by the state of Florida, pronounce that they are now husband and wife. In the name of the Father, the Son, in the Holy Spirit, and those whom God has joined together, let no man separate. Danny, you may kiss your bride. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Danny and Hope Brigham.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think, I think what we're about to do is have a little cocktail hour, correct? Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. There's gonna be drinks over there, there's tables over there, and then we'll let you guys know when it's time to go sit down. Thank you guys so much, let's party. Ah!